Hello, welcome to China Mosaic. I'm Hong Lin for China, the org.cn. Recent CNN footage detailing a Chinese story has moved audience and online readers across the world. The story is simple. Two farmers from Hebei province in northern China leased a river bank and they planted more than 10,000 trees in the past 15 years. The most special part of the story is that the two friends both suffer distressing afflictions. One doesn't have arms and the other cannot see. They have been friends since childhood. Jia Wenqi lost his arms when he was three years old, and Jia Haixia lost his sight in the year 2000. One year later, the two decided to leave the riverbank in the village and plant trees. Every morning thereafter, villagers would see the two inseparable figures. Jia Wenqi, using his shoulders, supports Jia Haixia to climb up the trees and directs his visionless friend to precisely trim the twigs. Villagers say they work together as if performing acrobatics. Their acrobatics have been performed for 15 years, during which the barren riverbank has turned into a dense forest. If sold, the trees could be worth up to 500,000 yuan or more than 76,000 US dollars. China has an old saying which reads, predecessors plant trees for the shade of their successors. For the environment and for the future generation, they both decided not to chop down a single tree, but to preserve this wood that did not come easily. Chinese farmers are hardworking and plain. From planting the first tree, the two old friends had this simple idea in mind. Disabled but not useless, have something spiritual to hold on to when they grow old. In spite of their disabilities, step by step, they create a legend. Many foreign audiences give thumbs up to the Chinese farmers after watching the program. In fact, two years ago, the Chinese media already covered the story. People told each other the inspirational story, expressing the sincere friendship between the two friends and their contribution to the environment. The CNN footage ends with Chinese folk music. I think, like pleasant music, beautiful stories and beautiful people are not restricted by national boundaries and will always earn enduring support the world over. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye-bye.